Did you know that your body gives you visible clues about how well your blood is flowing? And you can test it right now from home in under 30 seconds. You don't need any type of fancy equipment, just your hands, your skin, and a little bit of curiosity. Because the truth is, your circulatory system is constantly sending signals, not through just your blood pressure or heart rate, but through the health of your tissues, your temperature regulation, and even the speed of color changes that take place in your fingers. In this video, I'll show you three simple self-tests you can do to check the quality of your blood flow and tissue perfusion. These are not medical diagnoses, but they are powerful ways to tune in to what your body is trying to tell you, especially if you're feeling tired, you're feeling cold, or just not quite right. First, we're gonna do the capillary refill test. We'll press down firmly on the nail bed of either your thumb and index finger. I'll use the index finger. We'll take the thumb and index finger of the other hand and we'll squeeze it. Hold it there a few seconds. And as we squeeze it, it's gonna get pale. And after a few seconds, once we release it, within two or three seconds, it should start to turn more pinkish. That tells you how quickly oxygen-rich blood is returning into your tissues. And if it takes longer, that can indicate sluggish capillary circulation, vasoconstriction, narrowing of the, the vessels, or low blood volume. Your capillaries are only one red blood cell wide, so even small changes in pressure, hydration, or oxygen levels can show up here. And next is a skin turgor test that will give you insight into the hydration status and connective tissue tone. You're gently going to pinch the back of the hand, the skin like this. You'll pinch it up. You hold it there three seconds and then release it. Healthy tissue should rebound immediately. It should go right down. If your skin stays tented or slowly returns, that can indicate cellular dehydration, poor interstitial fluid volume, or early signs of connective tissue breakdown. And when your body is hydrated and circulating efficiently, your skin acts like elastic. When it's compromised, it tells you something deeper is off. Now, test number three, the last test, one of the most important overlooked tests, is the toe warmth and color check. Take off your socks and feel your toes. Are they warm? Are they pink and symmetrical? Or do they feel cold, pale, or uneven temperature? The toes are the farthest point from your heart, so they're often the first place where poor circulation, poor peripheral circulation shows up. This could reflect several things vasospasm, where the vessels are contracted, constricted, microvascular restriction, even sympathetic nervous system dominance. And if your brain is stuck in that fight or flight, that sympathetic mode, it'll shunt the blood away from the limbs and keep it in your core. That's why cold hands and feet often mean more than just the temperature in the room. The good news is this. If you catch these signs early, you can usually do something about them. Movement, hydration, breath work, stretching, and circulation boosting techniques like calf pumps going up and down like this, foot mobility, moving it around, all that helps restore more blood and tissue health. And your blood is the body's transportation system. We know it carries oxygen, nutrients, hormones, and even waste products. So when circulation slows down, everything slows down. What does that mean? Your energy, your healing, and even your thinking. So if you try these tests and notice anything unusual, take it as a sign to start supporting your system, not with fear, but with awareness. Your body is incredibly intelligent. These tiny shifts in color, skin, and temperature aren't random. They're messages. You just have to know how to read them. And now you do. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with your friends and family. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.